Okay, so I've spent about 10 minutes getting this all nice and pinned out, and then I zoomed in so that we can really see what's going on here. I like to be able to follow the different systems. So even though up here somewhere we have the cerebral ganglia, kind of almost brain-like, the nervous tissue up there, kind of hard to see, there is a tube that extends right about here is the pharynx. So let's follow the digestive system. Uh, earthworms are eating dirt, okay, and they're grabbing the nutrients out of the soil. So it's going to enter in through the mouth, it's going to then go to the pharynx, then there is this tube, see this tube that goes right along here? That's the esophagus. It's a little unclear in here, there are calciferous glands right here, um, but not super visible on my particular worm. So that's from a diagram, not from the dissections, no calciferous glands, if it's on your list. The first bag-like structure right here, see it? Kind of squishy. That's the crop. And the crop is located right before this muscular organ. Look, not as squishy. It's a little hard. It's muscular. That's the gizzard. And that helps grind up the soil and whatever's in the soil. Uh, so that it can actually be digested, any of the nutrients. All right, so then after the gizzard is the intestine. And the intestine is this straight tube that goes all the way down, okay, the animal. Right on the top of the intestine, I do see that dorsal blood vessel. Okay, it's going to run in it. See, it kind of, it's twisted just slightly because the septa, can you see as I'm, really hold everything in place. Septa is plural for one septum, many septa, the little walls, okay? I can see the dorsal blood vessel just running across right there on top of the gizzard and the crop. Might be tricky for you to see. All right, so let's, since we're talking about circulatory, as we go up to the anterior part of the worm, we see these small, dark, kind of that same dark brown color structures. There's one pair there, two, three, four, and I'm having trouble seeing five because my eyes aren't that good. Uh, they're the dark brown structures though. Those are the hearts. And so they have five pairs of hearts, so 10 hearts. They're not really hearts like we think of hearts. An earthworm heart really is a bulge in the aorta. They do have the ability to contract, but they're not quite as sophisticated as, say, your or my heart, okay? Now, some other structures that I can definitely see is I have these smaller white kind of balls right there. They're on both sides. I have some over there as well. Those are the seminal receptacles. A little further down and a little bit larger Okay, right there and right there are the seminal vesicles, part of the reproductive system that I can see with my naked eye, okay? Even though this particular video is uh, zoomed in, I, even with my bad eyes, can see the seminal receptacles and the seminal vesicle. Now, the ovary and oviduct, that's going to be underneath the whole, I have to take the digestive system basically out and it is ventral uh, to all these organs. I'm not going to do that, and it's really small. So it's there, they have to have them, but it's hard to see. And if this were in class and we were doing a practicum, it's hard to pin. Even some of these small structures you could see, my pin is so large, even if I grab a smaller pin, right? It's hard for me to pin that and say, what is that structure? Diagram, super easy. I'll take some pictures of this video, super easy to take pictures of and then label the diagram, the picture. All right, one other structure that I can see, and I, it, they exist up here, but they're not as clear as I can kind of see them right here. So see this, see this kind of garbage, this kind of tissue looking stuff in between each septa, septum. Okay, so each septum, there's kind of this tissuey stuff. And it goes all the way down. I can even move this up a little bit and we can see all the way down those each one is called the nephridium, okay? So a nephridium is the beginning of a kidney. It's the very earliest 
kidney-like structure. So this is working for excretion. It's removing nitrogenous wastes from the salomic cavity. Uh, and there are little pores, which I can't see, but on each of these little segments is gonna have a nephridium and a pore to release any nitrogenous uh, byproducts, any waste products for the worm to exude. All right, that is all that you need to know from the earthworm. And I'll take a picture like this, and then I will take a picture more zoomed out. I hope you enjoyed our earthworms, and you will look at them differently now when you find them in the yard. They're actually pretty complex and wonderful creatures.